All right, so everybody's asking how to structure a subject to acquisition where you're buying a property, but you're leaving the mortgage in place and you're still getting title to the property. How do you do that and not trigger the due on sale clause? The due on sale clause is what's in the mortgage that says that if the transfer of an interest of the property goes to someone else, then the note is due. So let me show you how we structure this. What you don't wanna do is take title to the property and transfer it from one person, my little stick figures here, to someone else. That is a transfer of the interest of the property to a third party and it triggers a due on sale clause and then you gotta pay off that note. What you do wanna do is kinda liken that property to a dog. Let me see if I can do it. <laughs> Here's my dog right there. A dog on a leash, right? There's the leash. What you don't want to do is transfer title ownership of the dog directly. You want to transfer control of the dog, which is the leash. So what you do is you put that property into a trust. If you were to form your own trust for anonymity or estate planning reasons or asset protection, whatever, then the bank wouldn't make you pay your loan off just by creating your own trust. So in one sitting, what we do is we create a trust where the owner of the property has 100% beneficial interest or control of that trust. And then we don't buy the property, we buy the controlling interest of the trust. So we do an assignment of beneficial interest and that is what we're paying the property owner for. So it goes from a real estate transaction to just a personal property transaction. We wanna control assets. We don't need to own assets directly.